the opportunity to see a lot of classrooms, K through 12 and college. And recently, as I leave these classrooms, a thought flashes through my brain. I think, what year is it? And I don't mean that as an insult. It's just a real legitimate question. For example, I'm in a classroom and the, the teacher's walking around, they have a tablet device and they're writing on, it's wirelessly connected so that the students can see what, what the teacher's doing up on a big screen. Very awesome. But what is the teacher showing them? Maybe they're factoring a quadratic trinomial or, or solving that quadratic. Could this have been done back in 1957? Certainly those topics were covered in 1957, it's just that the teacher would have demonstrated using chalk and chalkboard instead. Or I go into a classroom and students are actively engaged working in pairs or small groups. Very effective teaching technique. But then I look to see what are the students doing and maybe they're simplifying a, an expression with multiple logarithms trying to write it with using a single log or maybe they're even doing partial fraction decomposition. And certainly these topics were done back in 1957 as well. But is this cooperative learning thing new? One source says that cooperative learning has been around for at least 100 years. And my dad's been, had been teaching almost that long. Back in the 60s, he used to say, I did, I did cooperative learning back in the 60s. I was a pioneer. So what, what I'm trying to get at is, I feel like we're teaching, we're using 2017 technology to teach mathematical necessities for 1957. I invite you to come to the AMATIC opening session and, and let's look at, think about, teaching mathematics in the year 2017 and beyond.